What's up everyone, it's Ting here from Tutorials Hub. Now in today's video, we're going to take a look at Rosebud AI. Now this is the best AI coder or AI app builder, but for games. It's more so a game maker than anything else. So if you're looking to create, you know, games, or if you're looking to maybe create, you know, gaming videos, um, not videos, but games, <laughs> what am I talking about? Then you can try Rosebud AI. So you can go from text description to 3D, uh, you know, games, SaaS products, whatever you want, right? You can create. So here you can check out the demo video. However, you're watching this video, so this could be your demo video. Uh, for the case studies, you can go here and you can see what this tool can do. So you can check, uh, chat with uh, or talk with AI characters. Uh, you have a 3D game maker, so you can transform your ideas into 3D games, um, you know, create worlds and gameplay with the help of Rosie, which is the AI assistant from Rosebud, and then AI for education right here. Now, there are also other uh, others here that already created some games like 3D Battle Cars template, uh, you know, Digital Battle Arena, uh, Evening Embrace, AI char characters, and more. As you can see right here, you can kind of see what names are available inside of, uh, you know, obviously Rosebud AI Game Maker. Now, uh, some other things that you can do, obviously you can go here and start creating. And as you can see here, uh, you can pretty much just start by adding a prompt. It's a very simple interface. So what you can do is you can say, create me a first person shooter game shooter game. So let's just go with this one. Let's sign in with our Google account here. So let's just go here and let's, you know, just choose the email here. And let's see what it will came up with. So we're signing in. And as you can see, it's authenticating. And as you can see, create me a first person shooter game. So here, you know, it's actually going and um, yeah, as you can see, the assistant this template is already perfectly set up for a first person shooter. So as you can see, it's starting to basically go and develop. And as you can see here, we can also apply here. And as you can see, we've actually built a first game. Now, how crazy is that? Now look at this with uh, WASD, I can go, I can walk. And as you can see, I can start a game by clicking my mouse here. And as you can see, you know, with left click, I can basically go and, you know, shoot. So this is actually quite impressive. Obviously, it's not something, you know, um, that's not already out there, right? It's not something big, but you can create really awesome projects with this right here. So if we hit escape, we can go from the preview to assets. We can see the assets. We can also see the code as well right here and you can kind of you know check the code if you are you know a programmer or uh, if you know how to code then this is this could be like a very very good uh, thing to do you can go in the code and you can kind of study the code and maybe either even like edit the code right here as you can see so this is something that you can do with a Rosebud AI. We will also create something else right now, but I just wanted to show you that this could be a competition to Bold.new, Windsurf AI, Cursor AI, and other uh, similar tools like that. Now, what we can do is we can say, can you improve the graphics and let the character jump with space? So I'll, I'll do this right here and let's see what, it, what we will came up with. So as you can see, obviously it takes some time. Now, what's surprising with Rosebud AI is that it's very fast. It's very fast to create a game because uh, this is working on a template basis. So they already have a template established, which is really awesome. And with this template, you can basically do you know pretty much anything. So uh, let's see what it will uh, come up here with. So as you can see, it's currently, you know, uh, going through the code. We can also publish this if we want um, and update the project link online. So how crazy is that? You can maybe create a game, you know, and uh, as you can see, I think right now the player can now jump. So let's see, can we actually jump? I don't think we can. So sorry, I couldn't generate valid code, reprompt, apply, and let's see here. Can we jump? I don't think we can jump. Um, so let's just do another one here. And let's see if we can add this um, to the preview. Now, obviously the code 
as you can see, it's it's getting the preview here, or it's it's actually writing the new code. So let's wait what it will come up with. I think honestly, it's going to be pretty pretty uh, good. I just turn on the no disturb mode. Like sometimes people are calling me inside of the recordings, <laughs> so I don't want to you know entertain that. Um, so as you can see, we can just click hit apply. And as you can see right now, we have this, but uh, we still cannot jump. Remember to press spacebar to jump. The jump has a one second cooldown. So let's see. Okay, so I don't actually think we can jump, but at least this is like, we can also increase the mouse speed as you can see. So we can increase that. So, okay. But overall, uh, we cannot jump. Uh, obviously, you can go escape. You can apply and try to to you know adjust these things and stuff like that. I just wanted to show you what this Rosebud AI can do. Now, if we want to publish here, we can obviously go with a preview image. We can also change the preview image. The preview image is when someone is sending a link, like let's say you. Uh, this is going to be the preview image. So if we publish this here, uh, as you can see, we can actually copy this. And we can actually play this game right here, as you can see. Obviously, it looks, you know, kind of basic, but uh, as you can see, this is what you can do. Uh, again, with the space bar, we cannot jump actually, which is quite unfortunate, but that's something you can do. And then if you go to create, uh, as you can see here, you can also create 2D playgrounds, 3D blanks, building a web app, 2D platformers, 3D play, uh, playground, touch screen even for mobile phones, AI characters, like there's a lot of different things that you can create. Now, if you go here and if we go build a web app, we can select that template. And as you can see here, it's already pre uh, predefined here. So what we can do is we can say, create a cyber cyberpunk theme 3D portfolio for a developer. So let's see if, if this can, uh, if Rosebud AI can do this. Now, by far this, is one of the best AI coders that I've actually tried because it's much faster than something you know else that I've tried before, like Bold.new, uh, you know, uh, other AI coders like Windsurf, Cursor AI. So if you're looking something similar to this, this is definitely the best, uh, the best app builder or app or game maker even. So let's see what it will do in terms of the other things, not just games. Um, so as you can see, we apply here and we have this right here. So as you can see, this is kind of like the, uh, portfolio for cyberpunk or cyberpunk team portfolio for, um, yeah, cyber cyberpunk thing portfolio basically. And we have here projects about contacts. We can even go full screen. So this looks quite good, honestly, pretty basic, but quite good. Um, and yeah, again, you can go publish, you can go into the assets, upload the assets if you want, but overall, I think this Rosebud AI uh, has a very, very, very cool uh, interface, very cool way of building apps as well. Like here, you can see what other people are doing in terms of trending, you know, 3D, um, you know, web development, AI characters. Now, one thing that I did note uh, or notice is that uh, a lot of these um, like as you can see right here, this is a game that I just created, but a lot of these games that you create are already pre-created before. So that's something that I've seen. And uh, yeah, it's kind of unfortunate on that side, but overall I think you can definitely make a better a game and more advanced game. Like for example, this one, uh, if you obviously, you know, go and if you, you know, try to prompt it in a better way. So. Um, yeah, we've definitely done a lot of videos on AI on our channel. We're uploading every single day, at least two to three times a day. So if you want to see something else, something similar like this, similar videos like this, check out our channel and, uh, yeah, we will definitely see you in the next video. A uh, comment below what you think about Rosebud AI. So we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.